All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Delicious, Delicious in Dungeon, Dungeon, episode 13. All right. That was definitely an episode. That was an episode. Yeah. We had some blood dark magic. Mm hmm. Love it. Fallen's back and different. Yep. Okay, sure. You use Dragon Flush to do it. Makes sense. You know, there would be some just side effects. Casual using the corpse of a dragon as a yep. spell component, you know? That, yeah, because why not? Why not? Yep. But then there was also that Dark Elf lady that showed up at the end. Yep. What is happening here? Are we, we fully going on to like the main plot, mm -hmm. you know? Well, arc I, think, here? I, th I think that's the point is that the intro mm -hmm. of this show with Fallen being eaten. Yep is basically the premise for us to have the hook to go down into the dungeon. But remember, there's the whole thing of if you conquer the dungeon, you know, mm -hmm. if you end up mm -hmm. going through it here, you get your 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 wish, your your oh, yeah. your thing here. You'll be the master of the dungeon. So yep. there's a bigger, bigger plot here, not just set up with the stuff that was tying things back to uh the people that are now outside it that are dealing with mm -hmm. elves and dwarves and all this oh, yeah. stuff immortality but, I mean, yeah it's immortality all that. and all all this crazy stuff uh we now have our bumbling group of of idiots here who are in the middle of all this and you know uh-huh uh uh marcel's not as much of a of an idiot as the rest of them because while they made a point that Fallon is the one that had the crazy cleric, you know, healing mm -hmm. and stuff magic like yeah. that. Marcel has her own talents too. Marcel has her own stuff and yeah. it's it's pretty intense. So this this world is is hovering around the characters with its darkness, if you will. Mm -hmm. But it also is bleeding into their dynamic in ways that feels very like, ooh, it's just creeping yeah. there right on the end and, of things. And this character that we now have here present, you know, at this location, yep. I don't know if they're actually going to make contact with the group or not. They could just disappear, but I want them to talk. I, I want, want them, them. I want them I to, want answers. to tie I want in to, things with yeah. the past and the the paintings right. and like the, and, so, and and Laos's uh you know engagements with them mm -hmm. through through across potentially time and space and and while at the same time having great meals along the way. Yeah, yeah, of course, because yeah. that's that's what we're here for. All all mm -hmm. of the above, but yeah, let's collect it all into a cornucopia, if you will. Mm. A, a um, big stewing pot. A big stewing pot. Yeah. 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 So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. This OP now makes me extra happy. I've been watching oh, yeah. the dub uh, uh. about four episodes behind where we're at. Yeah. Up to. And, oh my god, the dub is phenomenal. I need to check it out. It's so, so good. Like, like obviously, Prosody is saying she is wonderful. Right. But the rest of the characters are all also oh, yeah. very good. So I really want to hear Damien as Laos. He just works. Yeah, I, I just feel like works. I can. I can totally see it, and I want to hear it. You know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> meat, meat, meat. Salt it, maybe. Whoa! Oh shit. What? Uh, she is getting possessed like, or summoned, maybe, by the dark elf. Oh, even the ghosts don't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the dragon within her. She's yeah, maybe yeah. like invoking uh -huh. the dragon, right? And that's. Whoa! Oh, shit. Good. Good. Let's go! Yes! Yep. Oh shit, she's gonna panic so much. Mm -hmm. Which means she went out the window. Mm -hmm. So because right. because of the Yeah, the dragon's flesh being used, the Yeah. Uh... Wait! What? Danger! 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 Oh, fuck. 
お前が今踏みつけている砂粒一つにデルガル国王陛下その人の所有物である、oh, shit. 汚らわしい盗賊が、oh. まあ見覚えがあるぞ<笑> Yes! <笑><笑>いやいや、わっ !Right, right! うんん。おしゃれ。ああ、ちょっと待って。ああ、ちょっと待って。ああ、ちょっと待って。ああ、ちょっと待って。ああ、ちょっと待って。ああ、ちょっと待って。ああ、ちょっと待って。ああ、ちょっと待って。ああ、ちょっと待って。ああ、ちょっと待って。ああ、ちょっと待って。ああ、ちょっと待って。Oh, she recognizes it, maybe? Ancient. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. I'm gonna use my blood magic. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. Holy shit. Whoa, whoa! All right. Okay. Yeah, but how long can you keep this up? Huh? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Trying Jesus. to eat them. <laughs> Wait, because they're part of the dragon. Oh. <gasps> oh shit. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> well, yes, I am, but just like that. Wait, so are they going to lose Fallen again? Oh, back off. Oh, no. They... Yeah. No, 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 yeah, something really heavy just. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Right. Shit, okay. This is literally Star Wars. Uh huh, yeah, yeah. With the bending. St no, her staff! Yeah, no resurrection happening here. All right, Laos, figure it out. Or Fallen, maybe. Oh, what? Wait. No, this is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, Laos is unconscious, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, go! Mm -hmm. Move your fat ass! Let's go! Right. Okay. Cushioned by the beard. Oh, poor Laos. Oh, the ghost. That's why it's freezing in here. Oh, oh it's shit. Okay, yeah, out of the frying pan and into the fire. All right. What the? Oh. They're trying to speak. Yeah, because they, they weren't trying to kill you. Right. I love it. Oh, the mystery just keeps building. Yeah. Senshi, come on. Huh? Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, from the. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Right. Oh! <laughs> we love you! Yes! 
Okay. <laughs> Orc concoction. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, that's gonna happen <laughs> to me. Hyperventilating. <laughs> I could just die. <laughs> yeah, my day. オレたち、エルクの魔術師に攻撃されたんだ。何か知らない。やつに抵抗したのか。褐色肌の銀髪の。それだ。我々が住まう以前からずっとここにいて、迷宮を支配しているようだ。Right. ブラタチ、狂乱の魔術師に目をつけられたってことか。バルシルの魔術家呼び寄せたのか。ブラムドリ。ドドラゴンをやったせいか。Both. Yeah. Ah. I love this conversation. Yeah. I was paid to finish the job. Yeah, and I did it. I don't need to continue with them. Yeah. Wow. Wow. No. Nope. Right, back up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very tough to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. いや、何でもない。後ろだ。え。この辺りの霊はまだ正気を保っていて、姿を見せたい時だけ現れる。彼らの進む道は安全だ。コール。オールライト。あそこ。さっきまでいた場所だ。コール。レッドドラゴンが
I don't want to see you die. Come on, mm -hmm. yeah. Nope. My turn. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. My feelings, yeah, yeah, thank you for saying that, but I do care about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. We could get a bigger party, yeah. Uh -huh. Let's be smart about this, yeah. <laughs> That's yep. right. Make something really That's good right. for her. Yeah. Way to go, Senshi. Yes, ending him like that. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Come on. And and what a way to make there be stakes with leaving the dungeon and going back inside, right? Stop. Like. Yeah, a good half season finale mm -hmm. kind of. That iterative progress, mm -hmm. but not actually reaching the ultimate goal. Ah! Okay. That was a delightful episode. God, this episode gave that, us that, so much, yeah. even though we effectively halted all the progress in the main story. Oh, yeah. And, and what, what they did with having Fallen disappear like that or be taken away. Yeah. It's a bold choice because that could very easily feel like backpedaling, you know? And yet. She's alive, right? So like she's alive. She has new power. Mm -hmm. She has uh, she has plot relevance for the overarching story. Right. She is in some ways now both the dragon and fallen, and in some right. ways fallen is still inside the dragon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and now that's we've got a tie to the actual you know lunatic magician that's the master of the right. dungeon and because the master of the dungeon is not the final threat in this regard it's where they're needing to find the true like lord of the dungeon if that makes sense because the mage is the one that's basically running things mm -hmm. but the one who's got the key to all of the things that all the other people sure. are looking for is probably who the mage is looking for you know oh man that's so wild the, so we could end up having the whole, like, group of other NPCs that we've, like, gotten to know a little bit mm -hmm. end up getting brought into the main party. Sure. Yeah. And that's why they've been all set right, up right. so far. Yeah. This all is right. how you do a mid-season finale. Yeah, this like, is... Holy shit. Yeah, because in some ways this the is... last episode was kind of that, but this mm -hmm. is the... We're headed into the next arc after the mid-season finale while also giving you a bit of a epilogue to the first half of the season by having all the characters be like we yep. lost we have to you know reconvene we have to right. you know resupply we have to mm -hmm. you know take our stuff that we've gained thus far this is still a dungeon crawl yeah and we we have to abide by the rules of that right we can't just we can't, we can't just, just keep, keep going, going forever yeah. yeah right that's we've learned a lot oh man oh man damn, that's yeah. brutal that's so and brutal. the fact that it's through the eyes of chilchuck as he's like no i should dip i should not be with these people this yeah. is nuts this is insane I, like th there were th it hit so many different like uh -huh. angles yeah. as far as ways that i might get enjoyment out of an episode of a show right right, right. we've got just the plot developments of mm -hmm you know crazy mysteries being furthered and all of that stuff right right with the the mad mage we've got um character introductions on two fronts because effectively this is the mad mage's introduction and then we even also even though we had already met him and, a even long though we already time met ago. them but you know like this is the actual like introduction right yeah and then we've also got the the orc girl who's awesome yep. they everything they did in this episode was fantastic i love it mm -hmm. um and then we also had action right because we had the actual fighting which had an insane level of stakes while at the same time going into some very cool like different 
you know, styles, styles of combat. I love the idea that, you know, it's the, there are some techniques in the force against which there is no defense. Like the only way that, that uh, right. we were able to actually like get out of there is because Marcel actually knows that kind of dark magic and is like, okay, I'm just, I'm going to actively tap into that to be like, right. make these things Someone go away. Someone brought true magic into play here. And right. she's like, okay, the only thing I can have here is basically introduce my magic into it, which will fuck it up. Yeah. Because if they tried to swing at it with swords or block at it with shields, nope, it would just curve around them or yeah, do whatever. It's not going to work. Just be effectively a form of a, yes. Right. Just, uh -huh. I've summoned things that you cannot damage, you cannot hurt, you cannot. I, I, you know, I do want to know, though, how, uh, how since she was just holding them like chickens, you know, like he's like, I'm going to cook these, you know? I did think that was kind of, kind of silly, but it was something where, hey, you know what? Um, Marcel's already handling this. Right. So, yeah. And and but then, you know, as a result of this fight, which the protagonists lose, right? right. Because like, even if they're doing this because of the mages summoning some blood dragons, which is a cool visual mm -hmm. thing of being like, Yeah, I can do that too. But I can do this casually. I have a tome, which is another limitation that they have, meaning that it yep. has to be something that the mad mage like actually mm -hmm. like knows, like they've inscribed the spells or something like that. Right. They didn't just bring the dragon back. No. As some No, they can't do that. Yeah. But that's because the dragon's not dead. The dragon is inside yeah. Fallen, which is so, such a okay, as far as like a quick visual way to world build and mm -hmm. expose it to us what was going on, it made sense immediately. Right. The fact that it made so much sense so quickly though is goddamn impressive. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you just can't communicate that stuff as effectively. Right. If you're making something from scratch that doesn't adhere to some, like, uh, uh, you know, sort of trope or, like, pattern that the audience is familiar with, then it takes a lot longer to showcase it, right? To make right. The, them understand it, you know? Right. And That's... in some ways, because of this as being a cooking show, this is a very silly way to put it, oh. but we know what ingredients are at play here. Oh, my we God. We know what yeah. has been mixed into the pot. Right. We right. took a dragon... And we go blah, 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 it with Fallen, and now Fallen alive, okay. Right. Why did that happen? Well, magic. Yeah. Well, if and that's And dark the magic case, that we're not supposed to mess with. Right. So, you know, so it's a bad thing. In, yeah. It's, it's uh -huh. then a thing of we mix the two parts in there. This right. mage immediately just goes dragon. And right. it all just is there. Yeah. And none of this, not, like... None of this removes the agency of the characters, None right? Of it. Because it's all consequences as a result of the things that they did. Exactly. That add to stakes that aren't just that aren't just like, um, okay, we need to we need to now go get Fallen again and then things will be back the way they were. No, things are never gonna be the way they were. Fallen no. is now fused to the dragon. That's just a thing. That's done. That's that's done. In that, addition that is part to of the whatever consequence of what Marcel did, yeah. right? In addition to whatever the Mad Mage did, you know, after the fight, probably you to know, incorporate the remaining essence of the dragon in something to like Fallen. that. Yeah. And my my guess is of what what's happening here mm -hmm. is in some dragon lore with high fantasy and stuff. There's the opportunity that the dragon has the ability to uh, take on different forms for mm. the purpose of engaging with you sure. know. Uh, mortals and beings that would be terrified to communicate with the dragon in right. its actual form here. Which means that Fallen is, one, uh, I said it in the reaction, but it's hilarious. She's back inside the dragon again, yeah. which is funny. Mm -hmm. That is really karmically, yep. just yep. hilariously funny. But then also, she has the strength and the capacity of the dragon, not just because she was being dominated by Mm -hmm. this mage for a little bit of time right right because it was probably invoking the dragon and being like i i am in i command you and you're uh, you're a part you're, of this thing right so. and i had right. you know control over you which is also this. a fun way to introduce a limitation so that that way mm -hmm. like the mechanics of the magic can be absolute but given the circumstances that makes them yes. not absolute right, right. like the, the, this mage couldn't do this to laos right it couldn't and, do it to Senshi. Yeah, exactly. And right, because we know exactly how it works and why it works, but also we're able to give our protagonists that glimmer of hope mm -hmm. that doesn't detract from the terror of the antagonist. Yes. So awesome. And and they are full antagonists. Like there was this part of me that was wondering if mm -hmm. it's like more somebody that's like, you know, can't trust, but like, hey, what's going on here? I also am doing my thing. You know. Right. right. Like I, I think that I think that there's a there's an element of uh, 
clearly they're a full antagonist right now mm -hmm. because they took Fallen. Right. But in terms of where they are in the scope of the story, I made the point in the reaction to say that they're not actually the big bad, though. Right. Because the Lord, the uh, yeah, the the one that. The, the elf, the, the, the mage mm -hmm. is looking for, is actually the one that has the key to all the things that they're all looking for, most well, likely. And, but even if it still is the elf that has all of that stuff, because we have a, a bit of an insight into their motivation, mm -hmm. while still main, like, it's a way to basically keep the mystery of this figure, even if the yeah. mystery that we currently understood of who's the mad mage, oh, it's this person, right? Right. We now have more questions about the Mad Mage, right? It's not like it would be it would be easy for this to turn into something where now, oh, they're maybe a bit less interesting because the Mad Mage in theory, you know, is like a scary image in your head. When it actually gets collapsed down to like a specific right. person, maybe it doesn't, you know, fully live up to that. Right. No. And and also the premise of the show being about the mage offering a wish to anybody that clears the dungeon now is almost needs to be put into context of Actually, no, we don't want you to clear the dungeon. We want you to help the Mad Mage effectively find what they're looking for, which is probably right. at the bottom or the end or the wherever this dungeon is. And because sure. we know that this dungeon is growing, because we know that this dungeon has uh, things that the Mad Mage needs to keep in place, mm. it's not that the dungeon gets cleared. It's that the Mage has potentially at some point offered like help or bo boons or something to those that would make uh, his uh, objective, you know, well, yeah, because you've closer got, to being realized. Well, because you've got the dragon that was probably guarding some checkpoint in the dungeon, right? You know, mm -hmm. keeping people from progressing at the very least. But it's like, okay, if they're but they acting said, on the orders of this mad mage, mm -hmm. what's the like? What's the objective behind it? Well, well find they, the the person. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, they also said that um, before that the dragon has been on the move more that's true than it has been before which means that something has changed yeah and the dragon was given effectively more um right uh, overt and uh emphatic orders right. the one ring has been found and so the nine ride out from you know from mordor right right we're we're, we're in a situation where the antagonists are on the move for mm -hmm. their own goal yep and they just made a big uh oopsie as the protagonists go with regards to uh Oops, you took away my my one of my best tools here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to need to come in here directly and kick your guys' ass and mm -hmm. then take back my tool yep. and be like, okay, you should be in your natural form, though. Right. That shot oh, uh, yeah. Fallen oh, yeah. in the so, Dark reminds me of Madoka Magica yep, in like, yep. a very special in way. The best way. How this show did a nice clear well built up to pivot into some mm -hmm. very darker shit because yep. this is not out of nowhere no this is very much set up but yep. the idea that we can get a visual direction that also emphasizes this makes yeah. then our plucky sillier heartfelt wholesome moments with the protagonist feel so much more earned right and precious because and precious because they can be robbed yeah within uh -huh. an episode and and now like this this reminds me of uh the game Hades where it's like hey you did good you beat the boss yep. you know you did the thing that you set out to do but you guess beat what? the system guess the what that's somewhere. not enough right yeah. you're going to have to do this again mm -hmm. something that would uh has um immediately screams to me in any normal situation of oh god why are you making us retread this right you know like even if it's an exciting development i don't know about that one chief but no with all of the different ways in which this has changed there are real lasting consequences to this and our our protagonists are still their scrappy mm -hmm. yep. creative they, selves they need to rest and go back right like even like right but we the, know the that decision, if they do that uh -huh. They have the capacity to do ridiculously cool yep. things. That's the whole point of right. the dragon, was that we earned that. Uh -huh. It was a win. Yep. We got time right. with Fallen. The dragon the dragon is not being revived in the traditional sense, no, right? No, Fallen like, will be in there. That's mm -hmm. the part that's so fun. Yep. By the introduction of blood magic and Marcel's ability to nullify it, Marcel should be able to potentially free... Fallen. Sure. Yeah. To say There's nothing a, of if, of how the whole thing would work of 
having two identities in the same spot right. and which one wins out in a normal sense. There's you know? definitely a in like, again, this is how the world of world building is so cool here. There's an immediate question that is posited by the way that she dealt with the blood dragons, though, in that does freeing Fallen just kill her, though? Because she Possibly. was brought back to life well, through this stuff here. Here's here's the thing I want to point out. So there's there's a nice fun way in which they'll have to kind of pull on yeah. each other there. Basically, we got a we got a more concrete promise, even though the objective is still the same on paper. Sure. Get fallen back. Yeah. But we know we can get fallen back exactly. because it's not the oh hey, we have only so much time before Is she gets she, digested. Yeah. Right? Now we don't have a time limit. Right. Not necessarily theoretically. We could know. have one, but it's not it's yeah. not clear. Yeah. Um it is also more the time limit if there is one not being associated with fallen, but the way in which other parties and other mm -hmm. forces involved in the world are going to dramatically scale up things yep. so that our plucky yep. group of protagonists are just feeling like Hey, we're small people yeah, yeah. in the midst you of this. You on the wind, you know, yeah. yeah. And, and that feels fun. That feels very fun. Because then every big thing they do is like, yes, you mm -hmm. go, you stick it to the big dungeon, but, you know, yeah. But guess what? The other thing that we have here, the fact that the Mad Mage did their thing of like, you know, calling to the dragon and, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and Fallen, and it worked, you know, fallen, yeah. Fallen's under their control and all that stuff. That actually promises something really good for the protagonists. Oh, yeah. One, yes, it's the terrifying introduction of some new complication, right? Sure. But the Mad Mage had to do that. Yes. The dragon was fused with Fallen, and Fallen was was the default. There were those right. little bits of, you know, something's not quite right. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, the majority shareholder was Fallen, yes. right? Yes. For now, you know, yeah, right. That could I, I that might have been changed with the way in which the incorporation of the dragon's remaining form. flesh yeah, exactly. might have just gone into fallen. Uh, right, yeah. Who knows what happens there, right? Ugh. But that's that's, uh, yeah. I just I love it because it's that guarantee of of it, at the very least the hope, right? Mm -hmm. But then also putting the mad mage on like in their targets of. Yes maybe we do specifically have to defeat the Mad Mage in order to get Fallen back because yep. they otherwise we we won't, right? They'll, right? they'll have them under their control. So, yeah, this is a fantastic development. I absolutely love it. And the fact that in the... This is this is the beginning of the episode. That's the setup then to then have, you know, Chillchuck being like, <sighs> y'all, we got I squid. don't know about this one. You know, right? Like, we got to call it here. Yep. And so we get we get impact and aftermath all in one, and, and and characterization, and characterization, and character introductions, and all of that stuff. So I I just this was everything I could have wanted from a dungeon meshy episode. Yeah. Um, and we even had some food. And we even got food. I, I even know it. I don't know if they would necessarily it was force fed. Yeah. And it wasn't necessarily great. Yeah. But I, I even love that it was the hey you're not actually nutritionally getting um uh. It's sustained be, here yeah. what you're getting is you're hopped up on painkillers and you know uh, adrenaline juice stuff to make sure that you survive stuff you to know. make sure that your body doesn't just give out yeah. right but you do need to actually rest there is mm -hmm. no substitute for that and I did love the poor Marcel is like I'm not dying I'm just I'm just out of magic right <laughs> stop no no and then yeah. just no nah, sorry Marcel you're eating everything that they're eating. That's, right. that's just the way it is. Yeah. Um, I also really liked that. Uh, what what's what's his name? Uh, the sword. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Kensuke. Kensuke. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I'm playing Persona Three right now. There's a character named Keisuke, and I keep getting that mm. mixed up with Chibosuke from Kotosuba. And I'm sure. Like, Fucking. Yeah. Keisuke. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been so many times where this little sword that had the oh we were nice effectively to a monster in the yep. dungeon mm -hmm. um and has given them so many little moments of just helping them out oh yeah like the fact that mm -hmm. because the sword fell over to kind of wake up you right. know laos there's so many little things of where this party is going to have all their choices, all their little things that make them their idiosyncratic, different, you know, selves. Yeah. Actually, be relevant in the long haul. Exactly. I I, I yeah. feel I feel it in my bones, in my in my very like soul that the thing that makes me so invested in this party and the, these characters and stuff 
is that these little moments of characterization, these little moments of big, like, like not necessarily big in the grand scheme of things, but big like episodic type choices will then lead to, so now we know how to handle this. So now we have something that'll help us with this. It, it feels, it feels like the DM is taking really good notes. I, I don't know. It just yeah. It, it feels it feels really good to then myself pay attention to all the little things. Mm -hmm. I feel like there are some times where a story will get bogged down by its own too much, if that makes sense. Sure. And you won't feel like you're rewarded for remembering that, hey, wasn't there that thing that did that? And it's like, ah, we're not focusing on that right now. You just kind of have to hand wave it away. But this mm -hmm. show, I think, does actually care about all that little stuff. And I just, I don't know. Just, yeah. It just, it just feels, it just feels really good. And, and yet, so what are we looking at in the next episode? Right, like, well, we go back up. We go back up. And, and we, we try mm -hmm. to recruit. I want, I want all yep. those people that were in like disparate different parties and stuff. Oh yeah. To Cobalt come into arms. our group. Well, right. I want, just, I want Kobold dog. We have news on the mad mage. I, I, you know, everybody's. I want the in. dog guy. I, I yeah. want, I want the dog Perceive. guy, the, the, the Kobold whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I want, um, I want our, our resident, you know, old party members to come back. Oh, sure. I, I would love to have them be there. I, I want, um, uh, yeah, so uh, what what was oh, did we get their name? Um, oh, the the, orc the one, girl? Uh, no, 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 the character that was like with the do the leader of the dog party, um, uh, the one that kept stumbling through all the things. I, I want I want even like those characters to yeah, get yeah. involved with this oh, yeah. as well. Absolutely. Like, I want a I want a I want a thing where we potentially get like multiple parties well, that's... to assemble for like, hey, we're not having you join our party, mm -hmm. but it's the thing of like. We right. need everybody. Like, All the parties will be uh, theoretically moving with a similar objective in mind. And so we could get lots of interactions between them as it's the, okay, here's what we found in this wing of the dungeon. But imagine you know. them also being like, here's how we sustained ourselves in the dungeon so you can do it too. And they show them how to make yeah. food. Oh, yeah. And then they no, teach it to all the other yeah, people. Yeah, since and she teaches a cooking in... class and it's delightful. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, yep, I'm, yep. Just, I'm just so excited. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, this, oh, was, man. this was fantastic at escalation. Also, next story. episode, I need Laos to mention something about all the dogs that are with the orcs because he's he's a dog guy. Guy and I, I mm -hmm. like I, I need that. I need yeah. that. As it's gonna be, gonna be awesome. But yeah, a anything, anything else? No, just just, just the. This was fantastic. I, I loved yeah. everything that the Mad Mage did. Yeah. Um, and, right. and the way that they escaped it of, yeah, I'll put you in a trash compactor room, um, and then the fact that like oh the ghosts point them out to like an opening and stuff like that. We got wonderful bits of world building alongside all of this and ways in which we got indirect limitations implied for the mad mage mm -hmm. that is how they got out that also hint at new mysteries yeah that's a that was a very satisfying way for me to get mm -hmm. our characters to escape from this hopeless yeah. situation without it making the mad mage feel incompetent but just they have limitations right right they don't they know everything the dungeon so they didn't conjure a massive fireball that just exploded and killed everybody. They controlled the blood right. of the dragon. They but there's not opened the crack in the floor. Right. That's the you fall yeah. through it. But they don't know everything about the dungeon because they didn't know about that that opening. Maybe you know right that they got out out through. So yeah. Oh well, yeah yeah. Fun uh, stuff. Great stuff. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time.